What is currently happening programs? Welcome to The Grid VR, where I'll be bringing you this week's news in virtual reality. It's Sunday the 29th of December 2019, and all I can say this week is all the classics all the time. We've got big screen cinema bringing the flicks, Lon VR, cyberpunk physics, Twin Peaks unraveling the twists, Halo, Master Chief Collection, VR carts galore, X-Wing Saw, and much more. Today, I'm going to cover off the main events to keep you in the loop. So stay locked, enjoy, and welcome to The Grid VR. Before we start, I'd like to welcome all the newcomers to VR this Christmas who found a headset or voucher under the tree. And for everyone that's been tuning in here for the last couple of years who have picked up a few things, please make sure you jump on the forums and the comments here and help answer their noob questions as we were all there and a little goes a long way. Merry Christmas, all the best for 2020, thank you, and now on with the debacle. The team at Big Screen have teamed up with Paramount Pictures to bring blockbuster badness as close to your eyes as you can possibly get it. Watch 2D and 3D movies from the Paramount roster with friends in VR, including classics and new releases you know, and the absolutely excellent Ghost in the Shell and Transformer movies. <laughs> Chokes. Just watch these two twice. Four new movies premiere every Friday, screen for around a week, and tickets start from $3.99 for 2D and $4.99 for 3D movies with showtimes kicking off every 30 minutes. Hang out with movie fans from 10 countries around the world in epic environments including the classics, a modern or retro cinema, or see movies like Interstellar and Star Trek screen in custom space station environments with special visual effects only visible to movie attendees, which, if you're a Trek fan, is approaching a rad level of around... Um, Levels are nearing 10,000 rads. A hell of a collaboration showing that VR movie experiences are serious even after IMAX closed down a few of its in-house VR experiences last year. More about that in this episode of The Grid VR. And so it seems that home is where the heart is and big screen VR has the key through the virtual gateway. Big screen VR is free, works with all major PC VR headsets, Oculus Go, Oculus Quest, and will be coming to PSVR in early 2020, and if you like what you see, you can watch trailers from the movies before getting in on a screening, and of course, all the links are in the description. Showtime, Collider Games, and David Lynch have re-envisioned the American murder mystery horror drama Twin Peaks in an escape room style VR experience that revisits the show's eerie visual style and surreal tale of innocence versus interdimensional arrogance. Visit familiar environments from the original series in 1990 and 91, as well as the Twin Peaks reboot in 2017. Step into Glastonbury Grove and witness the revelation of the White Horse in the infamous Red Room, walk the Sheriff's Department, see the glass box observation and more while collecting Easter eggs from the show and assisting Agent Dale Cooper's search for the damn, damn finest cup of coffee and the interdimensional pain and sorrow swallowing Bob. Released on Friday the 13th of December, but Twin Peaks VR is out now for all major PC VR headsets on Steam for 10 bucks, and will be coming to Oculus Quest and PSVR soon after. Lon is a first-person VR, physics-based, story-driven action-adventure title from Sixth Sense Studios. Not to be confused with the failed Sixth Sense stem controllers that I'm so sorry I just reminded everyone of, this cyberpunk stunner has a Half-Life Alex vibe that comes complete with the ability to use gloves with gravity gun slash Vader Immortal force like capabilities that appear to strike a balance between what Boneworks is and what it could have been better off not doing. Deflect enemy blasts with a neon edge blade, decease enemies with a stab to the neck, pick up pills, deflect bullets, journey to neon beats and smash box in a laid back dystopian style that's easy on the eyes and rife with potential. Lon will be released in 2020 on the usual PC VR headset suspects and you can check the links in the description below for more vital info. And briefly, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners has a new official trailer up and this does look like it's shaping up to be The Walking Dead title that will quite fittingly bring back The Walking Dead series 
from the dead. First person f*** your way through the zombie menace using fire and willpower and craft supplies to survive in this fully rotting fleshed out VR expose of Glor Galore courtesy of Skybound and Skydance Interactive. Out on all major PC VR headset and Vive's fairly average Cosmos on January 23rd 2020 with a PSVR release coming in Q1 2020. Link to the full trailer is in the description below. Five Nights at Freddy's, the pants shitting bed wedding animatronic terror fest now has a free to play augmented reality app on Android and iOS. Not too dissimilar from Pokemon Go in that you see a real time map of your location and battle unsettled enemies, but dissimilar from Pokemon Go in that the only red and white balls you'll be collecting are your own testicles or ovary pairs on a platter as the partially furry mechanimals come at you like a hundred vicious dicks in a gangbang gone wrong. Sorry, too far? Try it, you'll see. Nostos VR, the cross-platform multiplayer open world VR MMO I covered in this episode of The Grid VR in 2018, is out now and while it looked epic as hell in the trailers, it is turned out to be quite shit, with broken VR mechanics, rubbish performance and all the trademarks of a dog trying to walk through the door with a stick in its mouth. I'm really hoping NetEase come to the party with updates to fix the game as the Breath of the Wild stylings really do appeal and the ideals behind the title are solid, though what we have right now is kinda liquid. But you know what they say, you can flog a dead horse but a roux with a tin of fosters in its hand is worth getting to know. Elysia is a room scale online multiplayer VR RPG that will feature hundreds of hours of questing across massive kingdoms where you can explore, collect and generally just quest on quest. Face off against guardians which are essentially kingdom bosses that stand hundreds of stories tall and contain dungeons and exploration zones which are actually mildly optional in that you can choose to confront or continue to quest. There is a planned player versus player mode which I would absolutely hope to see for a game of this type, especially given the daily and holiday themed quests will surely be better with frenemies. In fact, there's a lot of planned labelling going on here, so it'll be interesting to see if Team 21 can meet the ambitious Spring 2020 release date on PC VR, Oculus Quest and PSVR. Neat Corporation have teamed up with Fast Travel Games to bring us Budget Cuts 2, the stealth follow up to the now widely accepted Budget Cuts 1, which is on sale on Steam now for under 10 bucks FYI. The first title received initially mixed reviews but came good with a string of solid updates and the combined studios have created a more punchy title with more focus on combat versus the traditional stealth tactics of the first title. Fight your way through the robotic enemies as you portal your way through Transcorp and put a stop to their vicious budget cuts right now on all major PC VR headsets. Dash Dash World is a VR kart racing title that features a pro racing mode and guilds, immersive controls, drifting and drafting, weapons, social comms, a motion sickness prevention system and what looks to be a handful of super fun VR kart circuits. Dash Dash World is coming in Q1 2020 on PC VR headsets and PSVR, though you can play the beta right now if you have a Rift or Quest and the link for that is in the description below. Also on the VR kart front, Touring Karts VR is a quirkier cross-platform track tackler from Ivanovich Games. Basically you get what you see, this is playable on PC VR headsets, PSVR and PC which means PC VR players can race against PSVR players and with a release plan for Nintendo Switch and a mobile gaming platform near you, there should be plenty of people to play. In fact up to 8 other players online across 3 game modes, a story base mode, 22 tracks and 30 customizable cars. All racing wheel and pedal compatible, links are in the description below if you want to give it a spin. Shadow Legend VR, the very excellent single player action RPG from Vitrivius VR is making the jump from PC to PSVR on January the 21st 2020 for 25 bucks. This has been designed from the ground up for VR and puts you in the heavy boots of the Knights Templar Grand Master as you fight to save your kingdom from destruction at the hands of Lord Adaroth. The PSVR release will have two new levels, polished mechanics, 
combat, boss fights, smooth and teleport locomotion, snap and smooth turning with speed and degree options, the ability to turn FOV blinders off and on, left and right handed options, and a crouch button for easily picking up items closer to the ground. I highly recommend this title for RPG fans, and you can see the first hour of gameplay in this video here, and you'll also find links in the description below to get you gaming. Facebook are planning two sets of AR glasses, one for release which will coincide with Apple's AR glasses and include its own OS, and another cheaper pair in partnership with Luxottica who own Ray-Ban and Oakley that come off more like Snapchat spectacles that add novelty filters over the real world that you see. Facebook has made two other interesting moves, one of which is purchasing Beat Studios who of course made Beat Saber, the VR lightsaber trainer which you can see my full in-depth review of in this video here. This should be a good thing, though I'm not sure what Facebook can do that Beat Studios haven't already. Yeah. Maybe that. The other move being the requirement to use a Facebook account to use social features like joining parties, adding friends, and visiting other people's homes when using the Oculus ecosystem. And the crowd goes, I fucking knew it! If you don't use these features though, then you will be all but unaffected. But if you think that's kinda dirty, but not that bad, then read this. It's an admission by Facebook that even if you choose to turn your location services off, Facebook still tracks your location in a roundabout way. Now, I don't care if Facebook knows if I'm taking a shit at home alone, but let's keep up the noise because it's a worthy right to own your data against big tech and their big data. In the meantime, I'm gonna go take a shit. Azad Balabanian, aka As The Wizard and friends have created a free Inception-like VR experience for Steam VR compatible headsets. The team have used photogrammetry and camera drones to take photorealistic shots of Mouse Bunker, a brutalist animal laboratory built in the 70s located in Berlin. The short experience bends the scene Inception style and if you've watched this show for a while, you know that As has featured a few times here because of his exceptional work that combines VR and photogrammetry, which is the process of taking multiple high resolutions of an environment and mapping them to a VR space, so you can stand right inside them and view objects with perceivable depth. This is one worth checking out and there is a free download link in the description below. The Homestead is another visually stunning recreation of a real world environment using photogrammetry, this time at an art gallery located in Auckland. New Zealand, which for the record is my home country where people walk on their hands and hamburgers eat people. Published by Reality Virtual, the experience isn't brand new but is now free, so if you want to see what it looks like for real to live upside down in New Zealand, then check the link in the description below for free access. Project Stardust is a free Star Wars X-Wing VR experience developed by Dylan Stout and Daxton Wilson for Steam VR compatible headsets. The duo have dedicated over 400 hours of work for a VR related motion sickness study at the University of Utah that's resulted in a remake of the 1983 Atari Star Wars arcade slash coin op game presented in full HD and featuring fully custom 4k texturing destroy the Death Star via the Death Star trench and soak up all the sounds you'd expect be warned you'll need some serious VR legs for this one and it can at times hit some bugs but overall it's worth a roll and you can pick up the Project Stardust free download link in the description below. Also Resident Evil 7 on PSVR has soared over 1 million users which is an even more astounding number when you consider it ain't on fucking PC. Boneworks is out and I didn't really like it, sorry. I mean, I love the potential that the physics showed were possible, but functionally speaking it was all kind of frustrating. There's a lot of tight environments that everything loves to get stuck on and your hands are always contorted at the wrists. While it is cool and it did sell 200,000 copies in the first 3 days, I haven't played much of it due to its mechanical learning curve, though your mileage may vary. Nibre, the super dev behind the Mother VR Alien Isolation mod, which you can see more of in this video here, is working on a new mod called Reclaimer VR, which is, 
you guessed it, the Halo Master Chief Collection in VR. Stay locked here for updates on that one. Hand tracking has arrived on Oculus Quest, which provides the same surreal level of immersion as the Leap Motion technology I covered in this video here. Oculus has said that there is currently no plans to roll this out to the Rift S as yet, but hand track fingers crossed that does become a thing. And the official Oculus Link cable that lets you play PC Oculus VR games on your Oculus Quest is available for sale now at $79 US and it works really well. And if you want to find out more about that one or any of the other topics I've covered today, as always, all the links are in the description. And finally, Microsoft have said that while their flight simulator is a VR priority, the next Xbox won't be supporting VR. And Sony execs are like, yeah! VR enthusiast Xbox owners like, <laughs> Regular Xbox gamers like, huh? PC VR owners like, meh. Doom guy like, <laughs> chillers like, <coughs> cats like, she. Dogs like, fuck. Capcom like, fuck all these fucking fucks. And I'm all here like, thanks for tuning in through 2019. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take a shit. And that's this week on The Grid VR. You can help support this channel by grabbing exclusive rewards on Patreon. And if you like this video, then crush that like button, have your say in the comments below, and hit the XO logo to subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.